So why do you think so many companies and those that are in power in this day and age use short-term thinking? Because they're lazy, number one. And in the case of politicians, because they want to get reelected, so they, they want to offer up. Let's take an example. So education is, is rising way faster than wages. So it's like you're running after a bus, you're late for work, you're running as fast as you can, and you can see the bus picking up speed. It cuts your heart out. America is a country of hopes and dreams, and it cuts your heart out and takes away your dignity if you can't afford a house, you can't afford education for your kids, and you can't afford health care. And if those things keep on getting away from you faster than you can work, faster than you can make money, no matter what you do, no matter how many hours you work, you lose your dignity. And what Amer America's not about Wall Street, it's not about Silicon Valley, it's the country of hopes and dreams. And that dignity and that hopes and dreams will go away if those things that give you dignity, like owning your own house, like my grandfather the janitor did, they go away. So people have to solve those problems long term. So we hear a lot now in this presidential debates, there's another one on TV tonight, that we should get rid of student loan. The problem with that is it's at 1.1 trillion, it's more debt than any other consumer debt other than mortgages, more than all the credit card debt in America. It adds a trillion dollars to our deficit and doesn't solve the problem. So if I have a seventh grader at home and a ninth grader at home, I'm gonna be like, wait a minute, you just added a trillion dollars to my deficit and you still haven't helped me with my two kids. Mm -hmm. You've only helped me, if I had a 25 year old that's already out of school, you've helped me a little bit because he now he or she doesn't have college debt, but you haven't solved the problem. Solve the problem. Use technology to lower the cost of education. That's the problem. And people don't want to take on long-term problems because they're lazy and they're hard and they're messy. So we gotta find leadership that's willing to solve hard, messy problems.